my channel thank you for coming back thank you for your support if you are a returning subscriber god bless you guys but if you're new here hello welcome to my channel please before you leave remember to subscribe and when you subscribe can you please click on that notification bell you'll see it down there so that you'll be the first one to be notified whenever i upload a new video so please do that you won't regret subscribing so guys before i jump into our today's video i want to ask you these questions because if you've been asking yourself these questions then you should watch this video till the end and these questions are do you consider paying for a dating app if yes stick here do you want to know when to worry if you are in a long distance relationship maybe you've been chatting with a guy that you met on online dating apps or even in real life and things are going well but you really want to know when to worry if that relationship won't reach anywhere which is very very important have you been asking yourself that if yes stick here can you find true love or can you find the one the right man on a free dating app have you ever asked yourself that if yes stick here and lastly do you consider yourself as someone who is unlucky in finding love unlucky on your online dating search if yes if you consider yourself unlucky that you have been encountering scammers you've been encountering men who are not serious men who ask you nude photos and you think you are the only one that is unlucky stick here dear beautiful ladies because our today's video is a story time <laughs> and this story time is all about the challenges that black women go through on online dating apps as you remember i promise you that i'm going to be bringing you these stories all the challenges that black women go through when they are online searching for love because through these stories you get to learn a lot and get inspired so dear friends as this video is going to be about a kenyan lady by the name of wendy 39 years of age single mom of two beautiful kids wendy is still on online dating apps searching for love because she is a strong woman i told you if you think you have gone through a lot of online dating apps watch wendy's story so guys we need to know why wendy decided to join online dating apps what pushed her so that brings us to know wendy's relationship background before joining online dating apps wendy was in a relationship before with a kenyan man but this kenyan man is living in canada they met in kenya in a friend's wedding their love story went very well till this guy invited wendy to canada so that they can live together start life there and at the time wendy went to canada she was pregnant with her second child so when she gave birth everything started changing this man started becoming very violent abusive he could drink a lot of alcohol come home beat her even in front of the kids the situation was really bad and when wendy called back home in kenya the parents told wendy please return back home but because she had small kids started thinking if i return back to kenya what will happen what will be of my kids what will they eat how are they going to survive so she was like no i'm going to stay here and resist till one day this guy came home very drunk and threw out wendy with her kids outside of the house so wendy didn't know where to go and remember she doesn't have a canadian passport so the only solution that remained was to go back home communicated with her parents and they arranged everything wendy returned back home with her kids so guys wendy tells us that it was a very depressing moment for her after returning to kenya with her kids she had to start afresh so she was very depressed and the reason is you know guys when you think that your life is in the right track and then all of a sudden 
everything changes you find yourself in a very wrong wrong track so that is what happened to wendy and that is why she was very very depressed thanks to her parents thanks to her relatives that stayed very close with her when she returned back home to kenya so guys she started her life all over again looked for a job found a job and her kids started going to school everything was going in the right direction then wendy wanted to start dating again but because of what happened in the past she was like no i am done with kenyan men i am done with black men that is why i've been saying let us not judge people because they choose to date maybe white men and you'll be like oh you just want money that is why you want white men or you're looking for a sugar daddy that is not the reason it's because of the things black women go through in their relationships with black men they get fed up yes guys so wendy was fed up with kenyan men with black men and from there guys she started looking of the way to date a white man as i said in one of my stories that right now if you want any information you will get it so wendy as in searching on google popped up a dating app called date my age and she tells me that that app had very cute cute guys you know popping up and she got tempted clicked on it to find out that it is a paying dating app you are supposed to pay so that you can chat with guys but because of the photos that popped up in the advert of that dating app convinced wendy to join that dating app so she paid guys and that was 2019 so when he joined and after joining started getting a lot of messages from guys a lot of letters because in that dating apps people can send you letters can send you photos can send you videos of themselves of their families so people started chatting with wendy she could receive a lot of messages and she was very happy and she told herself this is it i'm going to find the one in this app because you know guys when the site is very busy you've got lots of messages of course you get the hopes that you will find the one then staying in an app where you don't receive messages or you receive messages from the guys that you are not attracted to but all the guys that could write to Wendy they were so so attractive so she continued chatting with these guys until came a guy from Australia this guy was very cute he seemed very honest and started sending Wendy his photos photos of his family everything guys recording himself videos sending them to wendy this really made wendy to feel like the guy is real and the guy is also interested in her so she stopped chatting with other guys and remained with only one guy from australia they could chat every day exchange photos exchange videos of course they recorded video but everything was going very well when he tells us that she chatted with that guy for nine months in that dating app and then it was time to plan when to meet which is very very important when you are chatting with someone you guys should meet i've been saying this yes so as they planned to meet when they joined that dating app 2019 january and it was september that is when they decided on how to meet so this guy was like i'm coming for christmas in kenya to meet you wendy was very very happy and excited because finally they are going to meet with this cute guy from australia and later on i will explain to you to why they kept on chatting on that dating app not on whatsapp so they continued chatting till october when this australian guy told wendy i am so sorry i cannot come to meet you we have to postpone because i've got a contract to go work in dubai so i think if i have to come to kenya it will be next year because wendy was very excited about this guy coming to kenya she got a bit disappointed whereby she took one step back yes she continued chatting with a guy but decided to start chatting with other guys and see 
if anyone will be able to meet her soon before this Australian guy. So with the Australian guy, the relationship continued for a while and then this guy one day just blocked Wendy. So Wendy was very surprised and was like, why did this guy block me? What happened? But never got the answer. Because you know, when a guy blocks you and it's not like you fought, you remain like what happened with a lot of questions but no answers, nobody to give you answers. So that is how Wendy remained. But so guys, after Wendy being blocked with that Australian guy on date my age, she continued chatting with other guys. I told you she was chatting with other guys when the guy started saying that he has got a contract to go to Dubai. So she continued searching and one day came a guy from Austria. This guy was very, very cute because when he tells me that in that dating app exists only cute guys <laughs> this guy was in his 40s remember guys wendy is still paying in that dating app and she tells us that she spent a lot of money before i end this video i'm going to let you know how much she spent on that dating app they kept on chatting everything was super good this guy was so open in his life but still chatting on that dating app not on whatsapp and within two months guys the guy had decided to go to kenya to meet wendy so wendy was right when she was like let me keep on chatting with other guys who will be able to meet me soon and you see guys came this guy within two months wants to meet wendy so they started planning for the trip and guys i want to take you a bit back about wendy's life in kenya due to all what happened with the ex-boyfriend the father of kid wendy decided to give her life to christ so she is a very religious lady and have got this pastor that always advise her on everything like a spirit father in swahili we can say baba wakiroho that wendy always talks to him tells him everything about her life and get advice you know he is the man of god so guys let us return back to chris and wendy this austrian guy his name is chris so they continued planning for that trip to kenya informed everyone in the family even the pastor knew about the guys coming so she was very excited that she will meet this guy and be able to introduce the guy to the parents and to the pastor who is her advisor <laughs> so dear friends time for chris to go to kenya arrived and chris went wendy was so happy to see chris very very happy and she did not waste any time to introduce chris to the parents introduce chris to the pastor chris was very happy to meet the parents was also happy to meet the pastor who is the advisor to wendy but as i told you wendy is very religious so she told chris i'm not going to give you the goodies <laughs> no goodies till marriage <laughs> and because chris was in love with wendy accepted to wait till marriage so they enjoyed their time together but wendy wasn't sleeping at chris's hotel they could just be together during the day but at night wendy could return home <laughs> to avoid giving the goodies the temptations guys <laughs> i think wendy did a good thing to go sleep at home not those stories guys that you have been telling me my boyfriend is coming we are taking the same hotel the same room but sleep in different beds <laughs> <laughs> that way guys it becomes very difficult because if you guys like each other you are going to give the goodies i'm so so sure <laughs> so when he did good so guys chris stayed in kenya for two weeks and on his fifth day in kenya he proposed to wendy they were on a lunch date and then chris proposed but wendy tells us that she did not accept though she was very very excited the reason why she did not accept the ring is because she wanted this whole thing 
to be done in front of her loved ones so told Chris I'm not going to accept this ring but I have to talk to my pastor I have to talk to my parents so that we can arrange something like a party and then you do it right <laughs> in front of everyone that loves me so guys Chris accepted and said your wish is my command my queen <laughs> immediately Wendy called the parents called the sisters called the pastor and they started arranging for this engagement party but you who is watching this video I want you to write me in the comments below do you think Wendy did the right thing Oh, she did a very huge mistake to want the engagement to be done in front of everyone please tell me I would like to know and let's keep on with our story so friends the engagement was planned within three days and what they decided on is to do that engagement party at the church where everyone will be present and that is what happened guys Chris knelt down in front of everyone guys honey will you marry me oh my god <laughs> i know if you are a lady you're searching for love online moments like this you dream of them to come <laughs> yes so to wendy it was real was so happy it was a very big celebration guys so guys after the engagement wendy tells us that or told me that it was like the devil was at work because she started softening and decided to <laughs> guess what guys <laughs> give the goodies Wendy gave the goodies the story to wait till the wedding day never happened she gave the goodies before <laughs> yeah and that was a huge mistake so she gave the goodies and after giving the goodies Chris told her that my love to you has tripled men with goodies they'll never see heaven <laughs> you get the goodies and then the love <laughs> tripled oh my goodness <laughs> so guys everything continued very well between them and it was time for chris to return to austria when he returned back to austria everything continued very well they were so much in love with each other and even made serious plans guys of getting married remember they started chatting 2019 december and they met 2020 march could make sure that his mother talks to wendy so it was a very lovely relationship guys chris had planned to go back to kenya 2020 june but as you know guys things got worse with covid and they couldn't meet so they kept on with their relationship but not talking of when to meet because it was lockdown after lockdown lockdown after lockdown so they decided that they should just keep on with their relationship strengthening it even if it is a long distance relationship and then december 2021 that is when again Chris told Wendy that 2022 June I am going to come for you and then we plan on how to get married Wendy is so understanding could not complain why have we been dating almost three years and nothing is happening she just waited she waited for the guy to decide <laughs> yeah and most guys like that on online dating apps when you are chatting they just want you to listen to them and let them decide and guys days don't stop so year 2022 came remember chris said he's gonna come june 2022 is he gonna come or not let's continue with our story but i want to take some water guys it's too hot so dear beautiful friends do you remember margaret's story margaret who found love on dating.com do you remember that story if yes then wendy after watching that video that story she wrote to me this story that i am telling you today and that is when i came to know wendy so she reached out to me and she was like bella i have watched margaret's story it is a very inspiring story and where she found the one it is a sister company 
sister dating app where I found my Austrian boyfriend, but I want you to advise me on something. I was like, okay, you can go ahead and tell me what's happening. <laughs> and this all happened towards the end of May. She told me, Bella, I am chatting with my fiance, who is from Austria. I found him on date my age. Everything has been going very well. He was planning to come to Kenya so that we can plan for the wedding in June. But just today he wrote to me that his mother got sick and that is where the telenovela starts. The telenovela begins. <laughs> or if you have ever watched those Nigerian movies when they say Afro cinema continues shortly. <laughs> so Afro cinema continues shortly guys. <laughs> <laughs> Let's continue. <laughs> so according to Wendy, Chris told her that the mother got sick. She got problem in breathing. She couldn't breathe very well. They rushed her to the hospital whereby they took her and intubated her. But so surprising, Chris was suspecting maybe it's COVID. And after two days, Chris was still saying that they have not got any answer if the mother has got COVID or not. And when Wendy told me that story, I told her that is so strange because here in Europe, during this period of the pandemic, when you get sick, especially the mother is old, they were supposed to immediately check COVID and the results comes immediately, no waiting, so that they know, so that they know which word they should put her. They can't just mix her with people who don't have COVID. So it sounded so strange to me that in Austria, two days without getting the COVID results and the mother is in a critical condition. I was like, mm, strange. So guys, what I told Wendy is to keep on asking this guy daily, how is the condition of the mother and if they have got the results of COVID test. <laughs> if the mother have COVID or what's the problem? Why did she get that problem of breathing, you know? So she told me, okay, I'm going to be asking. And I continued advising Wendy, wanting to know the updates of the guy. After two days, Wendy came to me again and she was like, the situation is still the same. Chris is very worried, very, very worried because he loves his mother so much. And she told me that they are doing the shift with his relatives because Chris has got one sister and one brother. When I heard again about the shift in the hospital in this period of the pandemic, I was like, wait a minute, what kind of shifts? Because right now, especially here in Italy, if you have a sick person, no one will allow you to enter, stay with her, like take care of her. If it is just go see her, for a few minutes it's okay you can do that but stay with her in the world take care of her that is not allowed right now so i was like what kind of shift people are not allowed to take care of their loved ones in the hospitals these days due to covid it's the nurses that takes care of the sick person not the relatives that is how it is at least here in italy so it sounded so strange to me i was like maybe because it is austria <laughs> so as i kept on communicating to wendy i asked her how is everything she told me it is still the same and this situation is stressing me a lot chris is supposed to come june this year to see me so that we can plan to get married and then this happened i was like don't worry just pray that the mother gets okay and i remember i also told her this is the time when your relationship has been put to a test so you have to be strong enough to overcome everything you have to make sure you encourage chris you have to make sure you stay so close to chris she was like bella i am a very religious lady i trust in god i pray a lot 
and I am very close to this guy. But every time we talk, he complains a lot, talks about how he is so worried about his mother. And this has started to annoy me a little bit because we no longer talk about our love relationship. We no longer talk about his plans to come. And I even asked him, if he booked for an accommodation he told me no i had not booked for an accommodation but i only booked for a plane ticket so guys we could chat every day with wendy wanting to know how the situation will go but to be honest with you this whole thing sounded so fishy to me in the beginning when chris's mother was taken to the hospital and in two days no results so i was a bit suspicious guys you know i have got experience and i have had lots of cases these are the tricks most men use right now in the dating apps when they start chatting with you they will tell you their mother is sick or they've got a sick baby or they've got a sick sister so that when time arrives to leave you they will tell you my mother is sick my daughter is very sick or my sister is very sick like an excuse so it's a trick and that is why guys i started getting very suspicious with chris i kept on asking her how is everything and she told me everything is okay i told her is this guy calling you every day yes is everything normal yes it's normal he calls me and he updates me on everything but i am a bit tired and i can understand wendy guys because this relationship is going to three years so past two weeks and Chris was still saying that the mother is still intubated but the doctor have said they have to do an operation in her heart so that they can put a pacemaker to make her breathe well when Wendy told me about it I was like okay let's hope everything goes well after the operation the mother gets better and you guys get to meet get married so the day of the operation for Chris's mother came and the operation was done. When I asked Wendy how did it go, she told me that I have not heard from him. It's yesterday that he told me today it is the day of the operation. But I'm going to check on him tomorrow to know what happened. So the next day Wendy asked and Chris told her yes they did an operation but happened some complications. <laughs> <laughs> so they will have to do another operation remember guys the mother is still intubated so when wendy said that about doing another operation i was like wendy listen you need to be very careful are you sure his mother is sick you need to find out if it's true the mother is sick because without confirming you are not supposed to believe this guy keep chatting with him and when he tells you the mother is better tell him that i want to say hi mom and send a kiss to mom so that i send get well soon wishes if he accepts you will confirm that yes the mother is sick but without that i have a very strong doubt something fishy is going on maybe this guy is telling lies and is trying to prolong everything so that you get tired and end the relationship because some guys don't want to look bad they don't want to tell you let's break up they will just prolong the whole thing till you get tired another advice that i gave to wendy i told her stop calling him wait till you see if this guy is gonna look for you or not yes we know the mother is sick we know he's very worried but let's be honest guys when you are in trouble when you have a lot of challenges whom do you run to first you run to god second your loved ones you stay with people close to you so that you feel good because talking to them makes you feel good so i told wendy even if the mother is sick this guy is supposed to keep talking to you look for you tell you his own frustrations because he loves you and talking to you makes him happy but if he is not doing that you know something is not right so you too who is watching this video you are on online dating apps you got someone you are chatting you are in a long distance relationship 
if you start seeing the guy disappearing online if you start seeing the guy is online not writing to you you know that that relationship will not work better end it before it's too late so wendy was like it's okay i'll take your advice and she did not call the guy for four days the guy never called but she couldn't resist you know when you are in love guys so i called the guy and the guy was online wendy told me those four days the guy was online on whatsapp she could see that he is online but not writing a message not calling wendy when wendy asked the guy was like i am online because i'm waiting for your call i'm waiting for your message it doesn't make sense to me it doesn't at all this guy is a liar a very big liar so i told wendy so if this guy calls you he's gonna die why can't he be the one to call you first why can't he be the one to send you a message be careful wendy there is a game going on so i told wendy please go on date my age check if this guy is online if he is online then that's a problem if he is not online maybe keep giving him some time but don't call him but when he told me bella i think he's not online because one time i tried to play a game as i told you that my age has a sister company which is dating.com i tried on dating.com played some game right to him he wrote to me the same messages on that my age not knowing we are the same person and at the end i think he suspected and i had to tell him the truth so i know he's not gonna go online i told her if you think so that's okay so past another week this guy was quiet not writing and wendy did not write remember i advised her not to write to him so wendy decided to take that advice of checking if this guy is on date my age is online searching for other women so guys wendy logged in on date my age and to her surprise just like i suspected the guy was online wendy wrote to me telling me bella my body is freezing right now i am shaking i'm so angry i am so disappointed i am lost i don't know what to do what? i told her if that guy is online he is a player you have to let go i know it hurts but you have to let go so guys i started suspecting chris when the mother got sick three weeks before traveling to kenya what a coincidence so what i'm advising you dear beautiful ladies i know i have in the past recommended to you dating.com recommended to you date my age but i'm telling you today or i am requesting you not to pay on those dating apps if you're going to use them use them for free no matter how you receive beautiful beautiful messages from guys but don't put your money into it because these stories that are coming are really really bad like wendy lost five thousand dollars on date my age but did she find a man not at all margaret was so lucky to find a guy on dating.com but i am told 90 percent of men on dating.com are only there to play games and some of them just chat with you to make you pay when the credit finishes you have to pay again so it is like a business that is what i am suspecting that is why you are my subscribers i love you so much i want you to be in the sites whereby you will get good results positive results which is to find the right man that will marry you i'm not going to sit here and encourage you to pay these dating apps at the end of the day you become like wendy or you become like other ladies that have lost lots of money and in the end they don't get anything out of those dating apps right now i have these two dating apps one of them is date my age the second is dating.com but the list will continue of the sites you shouldn't try to invest your money in i am saying this because after getting stories of people who have been scammed on those dating apps who have lost their money but not find anyone on those dating apps 
I go and research. If you remember, there is a guy I shared his name on dating.com. I told you the guy is a scammer. And it did not take long, guys. After three or four days, there is a lady who joined dating.com. The same same guy that was chatting with Margaret on dating.com for eight months. In the end, nothing happened. The attorney, if you remember that story, wrote to this lady that joined on dating.com with the same same stories. The lady sent me even the screenshots. So that is why I'm telling you these guys are so clever i don't know if the sites are behind it i don't know but it is said that those dating apps are paying people to chat with you that is why you'll find cute cute guys on those dating apps that is why you will chat with those guys on a dating app but they don't want to exchange whatsapp number never they want you to chat on that dating app keep paying even if he tells you i am in love with you it does not make sense no matter how much a guy is rich guys he cannot just lose money on a dating app whereby there is a free way of communication whatsapp that is why something is wrong with those dating apps i'm telling you dear beautiful ladies it is not possible and these guys they will pretend that they have got good good jobs like Chris told Wendy, he is a plastic surgeon. Which kind of a plastic surgeon will stay online all day long? When you go online, he is there. <laughs> also guys, if you remember the Australian guy who chatted with Wendy at first for nine months, same, same guy, we came to find out that that dating app is using the photos, the videos of that guy as an advert. Do you get my point now? Do you get it? How is that possible? <laughs> How is that possible, guys? Something fishy is going on. Don't pay for those dating apps. I beg you, I don't want you to lose your money. Oh. <laughs> Look at Wendy, $5,000 is a lot. I have another lady also lost a lot of money, guys, a lot. She tells me that she can buy a car with that money that she lost on DateMyAge and Dating.com. So guys, that is what happened to Wendy. She got very depressed again, but I told her she shouldn't worry. It's not the end of the world. She can still find love things happen guys shit happen <laughs> yeah she can't do anything because you will blame yourself again and again but you can't change anything the good thing she has learned her lesson guys wendy is such a strong lady she is still on online dating apps searching hoping to find the one so we should wish her all the best and i am by her side helping her every day Till she finds the one so that she can be happy she has promised me also she is not going to pay for any dating app and I totally agree with her so what do we learn from this never never guys I repeat introduce a guy without knowing his life where he stays his real, real life without being convinced if you cannot confirm it, don't believe it. Look at Wendy. She told me that, Bella, where will I put my face? Everyone saw that engagement at the church. My sisters knows. Everyone. I don't know where I will put my face when they come to know that the relationship could not work. The guy was just a player. So please learn from this. If the guy is going to engage you, be sure the guy is the one. Confirm, I'm telling you, please, so that you don't ruin your image, which is very, very important. Lastly, this was the question that I asked you if you've been asking yourself the same. Can you find love on a free dating app? Yes, of course, you can find love on a free dating app. Actually, if you are a woman, everything works on your favor. Chat with men who have paid. I've remembered, guys, some of you were asking, how will I know if a guy has paid on Afro Introduction? If you go on Afro Introduction, look at the men's profile. 
if you see there is a little sign i'll try to put that sign here small sign like a person on a man's profile and that sign is gray almost clear you know the guy has not paid if you see that person that small person on the profile is blue you know that the guy has paid so chat with such kind of men if you want to send the messages send messages to such kind of guys it is possible to find love on a free dating app actually i know lots of couple who have found love on a free dating app even our last story of vicky f dating is free she did not pay anything and she found love even some of the paid dating apps you can still use the free version and chat with guys who have paid only so guys i really hope you enjoyed this story you learned something i have answered the questions that you had before <laughs> which makes me happy if you've liked this video please give it a thumbs up share it to your friends family everyone that you think will enjoy this video and learn something watch my other videos too they are super good you will learn a lot Comment below what you think about this video. I love you so much, guys. You're always here in my heart. Let us meet in the next video. Ciao, ciao.